Well, hi there, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Trevor's Terrarium here at Geektopia Island. I'm Cardwell. And I'm Kevin. And that's Trevor. Today, we have a fun little control deck for you. But before we get into it, go ahead and remind you that we do have a Patreon. It only takes a dollar to support us, and we love you very much for it. The link will be down below. Today, we are going to play a blue-red control deck. And it, of course, it has to deal with our cute little penguin, Hanzo. Uh, the deck name is called Ice Block. And if you played any sort of MOBA or any control anything ice block is a very good powerful thing yeah and if you don't remember what our champion does hanzo whenever a unit you control becomes a stun you may put a top card of your deck under this card if it's a penguin card you may draw a card that might not happen as often as the other deck but the other ability is still great which is once per turn put two cards from this card on top of the top or bottom of the owner's deck in any order ignore the effects of non-target a uh, non-destroyed tower which is super powerful yeah, he's so good just because you're like, yo, your red tower, I don't want you to have it. Yeah, like, yeah. If, if you scout it out early, you're just like, cool, that tower is in my way. No. Yeah, it's not going to trigger its effect, so thank you very much. And for, we actually have the Fire Spit Corona uh, instead of the good old Urza Bear because we didn't, we wanted more blue than red. But once per turn, during your turn, discard one fire unit from your hand, deal 500 damage to target unit, just in case. And during your turn, Soul Burst, uh, target unit gains quickness, just for that quick win. That's mostly why we're playing this guy. Yeah, exactly. Uh, the first guy we have is the Pingushi Kyodo. He has a 2 drop, 1500. Uh, while your opponent controls a stunned unit, this card gets plus 1000. And whenever this card declares an attack, you may destroy target stunned dude. Which, that's super strong, because you're like, cool, your dude's stunned, kill it. Yep. Next one is Pingardian Mystic. It's a two drop, 1,000. Pay one, sacrifice this card, stun target unit. Simple as that. Next is one of the new main guys of the deck is the Cultist of the Forgotten One. He is a three drop, 2,000. Units and augments with arrive abilities cost two more to play. That is both yours and theirs. Yep. So we don't, we're not really playing very many arrive triggers, if any. At all. And that's because of this guy. So that yeah. way your stuff doesn't cost more. It just, there it does. It just taxes your opponent. Yeah, and that's one of the best ways to control is that most people do have inner abilities nowadays, and you're just like, no, don't play them right now. Yeah. Uh, next is a Ash Tinder Melder Squire. It's a three drop 2000. If fire and water spells cost one less to play while your opponent has three or more destroyed towers, and then once per turn, expel a fire and water card from your discard zone, deal 1500 damage to target unit, and if you do draw a card. This card's good. Yeah, this dude is so strong. Like, we, we had to play this dude in one of the other decks, and he was so fun to play, because if, if he's in play, you have to worry about his ability. Like, yeah. You just have to, period. Be like, hey, anytime you're just going to deal 1,500 to my dude. And yeah. My, that's most units power, pretty much. Uh, next is the Pingobi Jonin Mochizuki. He is a 4-drop 2,000 with Instacast. Uh, whenever this card declares an attack, you may stun target card, which is really cool. And whenever a unit becomes stunned, you may draw a card. So you attack with this guy first, and then you kill him with the Kyoto, and you're just like, cool, that's a little attacking combo. Yep, S simple as that. Now this guy might affect you as well, but it's still pretty powerful. It's a 5-drop, 3,000. <clears> it's a Fragment of the Forgotten One. It is trigger abilities of units and augments do not trigger. Once per turn, expel another unit you control. This card gains Immortal. So therefore, you're just able to keep this guy alive, keep swinging, and hopefully stop your opponent from doing anything. Yeah. And the final, the final dude of the deck is the Arctic Arbiter. It is a 6-drop 4,000. Uh, units you control gain unblockable, and you ignore the effects of Water Tower. And then as additional cost to play this card, you may exhaust any number of water units, and this card costs one less. Yep. So you're like, cool, tap all these dudes. This, this costs three, and then my dudes are unblockable. Yeah. Thanks. Pretty, pretty cute right there. Now, first spell, uh, we're not running blue unless we're really running this <laughs> card. It's Phantasmal uh, Guards. So one drop. Uh, put two illusion tokens that are 500 guardians, and but they cannot attack, but that's okay. You know, yeah. They're there to block. Yeah, they're there to soak up damage. Yeah. Uh, next is Glacial Shuriken. is a two-drop insta-cast spell where you stun a unit. Yep. Nope. Yeah, don't attack. Sorry, thanks. Bye. And next one is Secret Pinguitsu. <laughs> the Glacial Clones. It's two-drop insta-cast. <clears throat> Return target attacking or blocking unit you control to its owner's hand. And if you do, put two clone tokens, which is a 1,000... Uh, water tokens, which is just more tokens for you to sack for your big dude or just to be there as well. Mm -hmm. So pretty good. Uh, next is a Mega Magic Kasai. It is a two drop instacast spell. Deal 1500 to target attacking or blocking dude. And then if you have two or less towers, you deal 2000 to another unit. That's just... You can still target the same unit if you want. It's just however you want to do yeah, it. Yeah, if it's a big, if it's a big boy. 
The other one is, of course, the another Mega Magic Mizu. It's a two-drop Instacast. Same thing if you choose one or two. If if they have if you have two less towers remaining, you get to draw a card, exhaust target unit, and return target unit to its owner's hand if it was exhausted. And so, <clears throat> as always, these cards read top down, so you can exhaust target unit and bounce them if need be for the two choices you need to do. Uh, next is the Primeval Roar. It is a two drop instacast spell, deal 1500 to target unit. Then if you control four or more shards, you may exhaust target shard and opponent controls. So, yeah. kill a dude and maybe get to tap down shards. Yeah, for extra bonus if need be, if it needs to happen. But 1500 for two is not too bad. And uh, next one is Primeval Shockwave. Uh, it's a five drop instacast, but it deals two thousand damage to all units then if you control seven or more shards exhaust any number of target shards your opponent controls up to up to the number of units dam dealt damage this way so this is just if they overwhelm you hopefully just a quick uh destroy everything move for sure yeah the red's there just to kill your dudes that's yeah. why we're playing red and the fact that also if it's it's instant cast so if you do it at the beginning of their turn you can tap down their shards where they can't play anything else mm -hmm. while destroying their board so it's pretty cute that way now, uh, what we have for the shards, of course, is just the Spirit Ruby, because we need it. Exhaust, flip your Spirit face down, destroy target unit. And then the other nine are just normal shards, because we don't have any dragons for the red. So no reason to have it for sure. Yeah. Uh, but with that, that is the deck. Uh, the list will be down below. And hopefully you enjoyed your stay here at Geektopia Island. Goodbye. Later. Also, guys, make sure you hit that like button down below and subscribe to our channel and then hit that bell for any future notifications that you have for our videos. And we go ahead and give a big uh, thank you to our fans for over the years, especially our Mythic and Above Patreon followers. Thank you, Ryan. Uh, with that, we love you. Thank you for your support.